Hi, I'm Marcel. Welcome back to The Pulse. So if you watched my videos in the past, you know that I not only read your viewer comments, but I often respond to them here, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through some comments and discuss individually some answers, some responses to your questions and comments. So the first one is from Ruchika Kamra. He says, hi, I've been using NMN for the last four months, and I have energy all day long, which allows me to exercise and keep my body healthier. I've been watching your videos, and your journey is incredible. Thanks for that, Rushika. I'm very happy for you. Rushika uh, resides in that 80% of those of you getting benefits from NMN. There are 10 to 20% that sometimes say they don't uh, feel uh, the effects of NMN. Don't know why that is, but fortunately, the majority of folks get more energy and start that youthful journey into their uh, aging years uh, as I have started as well. So I'm glad it's going well for you. Next comment is from Ephraim Ross. <laughs> Ephraim says, wait, naturally? So what Efren is commenting about is Pierre Dibman's story about his wife's breasts becoming firmer after she took NMN. He's already had great results taking NMN, and uh, she had this result after a few weeks of taking NMN, which is pretty amazing. I'm also wondering if other people have experienced this as well, other women. But uh, yes, no augmentation going on. It was a natural result from taking an amend for her. Also, by the way, Pierre checked in with me and said that he realized after our interview that he also had another symptom that he'd had from chemotherapy from five years ago that has pretty much gone away since taking NMN. He noticed it over the past few weeks. He's been taking NMN for about eight months. So I would imagine that this uh, symptom would take some time, but he had some nerve damage that was causing numbness in his feet when he would lay down. And it was more annoying than anything else, sometimes made it hard to go to sleep, and it's pretty much gone away over the past couple of weeks. So another amazing result from NMN from another past commenter. Um, Alberto Solano says, first time watching your videos. Well, thanks for watching, Alberto. Please don't conform to others. He's responding to the fact that I made a video about some people have it wrong, the reasons I'm taking NMN, some people have those wrong. And I didn't find necessarily a lot of those reasons to be so misguided. They were just off. <laughs> they weren't necessarily, you know, I... Again, you'd have to watch that video, and please do. It's called Some People Have It All Wrong. But uh, yeah, some people really have written me and supported me in my efforts. I was just clarifying my reason specifically for taking NMN. Uh, if they say you were attractive before, that's on them. Some people said, hey, you were you were more attractive when you were big and fat. <laughs> Um, I say be proud of anything you're striving for. No need to explain the benefits as byproducts of living healthier. That is the primary goal here. You know, taking some supplements is a vehicle to uh, live healthier, to get uh, better recovery from sports, to have more energy, to go out there and feel youthful, but then actually do it, to actually live healthier. Now, he also, Alberta says he's 28 and supports anyone who's looking to better themselves within any capacity. I'm seeing this a lot. A lot of people in their 20s and 30s that are intrigued by this whole story, if not trying and amend themselves, they're actually just following the channel, which is really interesting. I've looked it up in the, the analytics and the uh, ages start sometimes in their 20s and 30s of people watching the polls. So I thank you younger folks for watching as well. And you know, I'm being a guinea pig for you because you're gonna get older and you're gonna want to find some methods and hopefully by then it's gonna be a lot more straightforward and not so experimental mental as it kind of is now. We're all living experiments. So I wish you the best, Alberto. Um, another comment here from Stefan Storley. Uh, Stefan says, I appreciate your videos. How do you take hyaluronic acid? I only have it in powder form. Um, I take it at, as a capsule from Do Not Age, and I just take it with water. It is... Um, it is soluble in your body. Your body can absorb it. And so uh, I would uh, take it that way. I don't think you need to do it anything special with hyaluronic acid. Um, Ellis Garvin writes, I usually have six different supplements from the Now brand. Now, I had posted about the Now brand because I had a bad experience with the capsule splitting open and I was getting sort of a caffeinated feeling from it. Uh, Ellis has had good experience with Now brand, but not everyone has. Heck, you know, that now brand I bought on Amazon, it could have been a fake now brand for all we know. I mean, that's 
how far some companies will go uh, to make money on Amazon. But uh, again, uh, my experience wasn't so great and I've heard from a lot of others, but I'm glad, Ellis, that you've had good experiences. Now, he also says about Do Not Age. I think Do Not Age is a great brand, but I'm curious what your financial relationship with them is. Uh, thank you and appreciate your work. Yes, they uh, provide codes so that you can get a savings. And this much smaller amount, but this channel receives a commission when you use that code. So you do support this channel when you make that purchase. However, I have to say, I searched them out before there was a code. I was using their products and I had tested the products because I was looking for the company with the best reputation to get NMN from. I found Afiga, I found Do Not Age, I eventually settled on Do Not Age um, because of supply issues. And also Afiga is great if you're living in Switzerland and certain parts of Europe. But uh, for me, I went with Do Not Age and I decided to sort of make sure that I was consolidating uh, their stuff and getting to know their supplements because they have a large selection of them. But it wasn't a monetary decision. Matter of fact, if I wanted to make money, I'd be doing it like these influencers, probably the smarter way and have two or three codes, two or three companies up there. But um, I'm just, I'm happy with where I'm at. Plus, when you dig in, the more you find out about Do Not Age and you find out that they're supporting the research, they send their supplements out to the research facilities. Also, Vera Gorbanova uh, is very involved and David Sinclair's son works at Vera's lab and publishes papers together with David Sinclair. So there's a very tight-knit family that Do Not Age is connected to that gives me a very high comfort level for getting NMN and other supplements from them. Plus they develop some of their own supplements. So that's my relationship. Ellis, I've been written to, I've been contacted by three different supplement companies so far, uh, asking if I'd like to be an affiliate for them. And two of them said, we'll beat whatever you're getting uh, with your current uh, partnership. So I'm not looking for money. I said, no, thanks. I appreciate that. But I'm really not looking uh, to do this for money. It's nice to have a little help for the channel, but uh, the main goal is to grow things, to reach more people, to get more people feeling youthful, because that's the purpose of the Pulse, is to spread this message of youthfulness and healthness, you know, and healthfulness, uh, wellness, uh, overall wellness to more people in, in an aging community. Uh, thanks for your comment. Uh, Catherine, Jones Debay, uh, she's commented quite often. Hi, myself. I've been interested in TMG because my husband and I are vegan and do take B12 at the level recommended by Dr. Gregor, but my husband's homocysteine levels were still elevated at the last check. So, betaine, TMG is supposed to be good for addressing that. Um, she's also checked the natural medicines uh, database and found a couple brands she liked. By the way, she mentions now, which she has taken some other supplements only is a seven out of 10, which is, doesn't sound real high compared to some brands. So it is also indicative that not everyone's had such a rosy uh, results with, with the Now brand. Again, I'm, I'm not looking to diss them. I just had a bad experience and I'm sharing my experiences with you. It's what I'm doing here. Um, she talks about comparing products and companies and costs for all our supplements. It's just not something I'm, I'm active with. Other channels sit there and compare two, three brands and different costs. And I'm happy with the purity level of where I'm getting it. So yes, I've sort of stuck with uh, one source uh, for most of my stuff. But there are a few uh, other little things like vitamins that I get off the shelf. So uh, here in Germany where I live. So um, yes, I do take a few other things, a couple other select things that are just in vitamin form. Um, but my supplements, uh, like TMG, like resveratrol, quercetin, NMN, certainly, they do all come from, from Do Not Age for me. Um, again, thanks for your comment. David Boyle said, well, what is better to take, resveratrol or TMG? Now, I had made this video about TMG and uh, that it's good to take with NMN because it helps with methylation, which, DM, which NMN can impact. Uh, but resveratrol is also very important. It's like the gas pedal for NMN, which is the fuel. It actually accelerates or uh, uh, can increase the impacts of raising your NAD levels faster. So resveratrol or quercetin or taking another uh, natural uh, sirtuin activator such as olive oil are all said to help with NMN. 
I also consume a lot of olive oil and I rotate between resveratrol and quercetin. So they're kind of two different things and they're important to take both. The good news is TMG is very inexpensive. So it's not very complicated to add. Um, comment from V. We need more TMG videos. Another TMG comment. I did not increase my TMG with, EMN, uh, with NMN. She said her LDL levels are already high, which happened probably with age. Uh, she exercises regularly and uh, asking, uh, she's asking, is it really that important to increase TMG with if she increases her NMN? I would definitely watch your LDL levels with your doctor, but do keep in mind that LDL is not a singular indicator of general overall wellness or health. It is not critical that LDL not be a bit high. Some people just have naturally high LDL, but they're still very healthy. Again, consult your doctor, your medical professional, and look at all of your biomarkers. And if there's a general picture of health, you may not have a problem increasing your TMG as well. TMG is safe in many grams, up to many grams it's been tested for safety, up to 10 grams or more. So you can take TMG, usually safety, again, with some levels, and this is why it is important to get your blood work checked with your doctor. With high LDL levels, consult a physician, please. Uh, Asim writes that the Do Not Age NMN capsule a dozen weigh a thousand milligrams as they advertise on the website. And that's not exactly what they're saying. What they say is it is actually 500 milligrams in per capsule. You would take two of those for what they list as their recommended dosage, which is one gram. So a little can maybe a little confusing there because the website says the dosage is a thousand uh, milligrams or one gram. But each capsule, when you buy the capsule, comes with 500 milligrams. So you would take two of those. Um, most people do take the powder. A lot of people do take the powder. I take the powder, then it's easier to measure it with the spoon, but that's also a 500 milligram spoon. So you have to take two spoons, just as you would two capsules. Uh, relax a lot says, uh, what are your experiences with your pulse rate? Uh, made a smiley face because of the connection there with pulse and the channel. Um, with NMN, yes, my heart rate, as I mentioned before, went down to around 50 to 51, my resting heart rate. And this was specifically when I started with NMN because it didn't happen 15 years ago when I was also doing more exercise at the time. I was still going at around 80 to a 90 resting heart rate. So my resting heart rate was consistently and has remained consistently around 50, which is that of a professional athlete. Uh, I do a lot of exercise. I play a lot of tennis. But uh, again, when I did exercise before, it didn't help. So NMN has, for me, resulted in a, a lower resting heart rate. And the final comment comes from Melanie Lumley. She had a similar experience. She still got COVID after taking NMN, but her recovery time was very quick. She said a week after she was cleared of this 18-day battle with uh, COVID. I'm sorry you fought that so long, Melody. Um but she's back to doing all of her sports and she has high energy and she's doing her yoga and her heavy lifting and cardio work. Uh, she said a couple years ago, basically Inamin brought her back because a couple years ago she had had uh, ovary removal, she had had surgery and she said her body was just broken. So finding NMN about uh, five months ago, she has just totally recovered and she's doing, uh, doing fantastic now. So it's, uh, it's great to hear uh, from you, Melody. It's great to hear from all of you. Uh, keep typing those comments. Keep letting me know how you guys are doing. And uh, thanks again.